What's good YouTube? It's your boy Mo. I want to say welcome back to Mo Better Kicks. Today's video, I just want to do a, a, a light little uh, collection video. Now, my collection is small. Don't kill me in the comments. The collection is small, but I want to be able to reference my growth as time goes on. You know what I mean? Um, if we're small now, just beginning, probably actually been collecting maybe a year. So, um, and I'm very proud of the pieces I have to begin my collection, but like I said, I just want to be able to reference my growth as, as time goes on. Six months down the line, do another collection video. We'll see where the growth is there, you know what I mean? So, that's what we're gonna do today, and I'm excited about it. So, without further ado, the first piece I wanna show off today, and for me, the collection always begins with the box. My, my love for sneakers isn't just based on the sneaker. The box is a big part of that as well, which is what brings me to my first pair. We're gonna go with Jordan 3 Patchworks. <coughs> and I do have all the laces, the browns, the blacks, the whites. The oranges are in right now, but I love this box. Um, I don't know why random shoes have this box, but this was the first time I received it. And again, it, it all begins with the box. So Now, this was probably my first pair of personals that I hit on, on sneakers. And I was in love with these to begin with. And you can't really see, but I wear these. I, I wear these, um, not crazy, but more than I should. And I should probably get these uh, sprayed down with my rejuvenator to water, water and same repellent. But I, I do, man, I, I, lo I love these shoes. They're so comfortable. And you know, th this, this patchwork design, there's a lot of cat hair on my shoe. This patchwork design is underrated in my opinion. You hear a lot of people say this was a Travis Scott collab. People would go ham over it and I don't disagree. But I like the fact that it's not a collab, it's just Jordan brand. And I think personally they killed it. And you can already see people are starting to come around on these. People are starting to want these a lot more. So that's number one on the list. Number two, classic Nike box. Okay. And I don't know which, which uh, like the, the classic Nike boxes, right? I, they're not in any particular order. So I don't know which ones I'm grabbing at which time. So <laughs> bear with me. But here we got the Brotherhood ones, which if you just saw my recent video on these, I think are Again, very underrated. People see this colorway and think, I'm never gonna wear these colors or something like that. You know what I mean? But again, like I said in my video, you could throw, a, you don't have to match this colorway. This white, with this white, you could just wear some, some blue jeans and a white tee and you're ready to go. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to wear the purple or, 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 the, or the, the gold. But, you know, to each his own. I understand why some people may be hesitant to, to give these the shine and love they deserve. But for me, it's a must and I am definitely happy to have these in my personal collection. Next up, see what we got. Okay. I love, I love this, again, it all begins with the box. I love this. Um, I don't know what I want to call it. Not a classic box, but this this clean, pure kind of look on this box. Well, the lid at least at least is clean and, and for lack of a better word, I want to say pure, pure. And then you got the uh, speckle paint on the uh, the bottom half of the box. But next up, we got the white Oreos, white Oreo fours, which. 
if you know anything about me, you know I'm a four hype beast, so anything four, I'm in love with. And this was actually my first pair of fours ever. I had a pair of fours two years ago, but they were too small. They were size 12s. So I the opportunity to come around to get a pair in my size recently on trade block and I went for it and I'm I'm ecstatic to have these back in the collection and I actually have a pair that I can wear and I mean I'll, I don't know if you can see it but I wear these uh, pretty healthily also <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get all my shoes sprayed down that but I'm definitely happy man I got, I got these back back at home where they belong okay this next pair let me let me preface this by saying I'm not or I wasn't high on these I actually hated these shoes but I can't say I hated it hate them anymore I it grew on me a little bit but they're still not my favorite pair but now that I have them back they're a part of my journey so they're here they're here a part of the collection the box nice clean Pulling out them, <laughs> them Cardinal Red 3s. And I did do a review on all of these pairs, I believe. So, um, I mean, if, if you're just scrolling around, go check check out those reviews. But the only thing that throws me off about this shoe, because like I said, it, it grew on me a lot. And I love this shoe. I, I love parts of this shoe. But this elephant print. It kills me. It, it ruins everything for me, and I don't know why. I can't explain it. I just I'm not a fan of this this defined elephant print. Like they got the elephant print that's darker, where you don't see all the scales or lines. It that one doesn't bother me nearly as much as this elephant print, the light gray, and I'm not a fan. So, <laughs> but again, I'm happy these are back in the collection in my own size and I will be wearing these uh, soon, very soon. Okay, next up, again, classic Nike box. Ah, got them Biohack ones, which I think are, based on material alone, I think this pair of shoes is very underrated. The colorway is out there. Yes, I, I will give you that. But again, just like with the Brotherhoods, you don't have to match this. You know what I mean? Blue jeans, black jeans, because you got the hints of black in here. Like you, you can have the basic, most basic of fits, and these will make make your whole fit look amazing. And I, I personally, the more intriguing or, or intricate colorways the more I like the shoe so this is definitely high up on my list and I'm glad I have these in the collection as well I have yet to wear them uh, out but soon <laughs> very very soon now last last shoe on the collection in the collection Classic Nike box. This box is actually a little banged up, but these are probably my favorite pair in the whole collection. Not the Breads, not the Chicago's, but homage to Homes. These, if any of you have seen my grill, uh, my grill list videos, you know these are on my list. They're pretty high up actually. I'm, I should have numbered I should have numbered how, how uh, like from most important to just there but these man I, I couldn't believe the homie wanted to trade for these. I got rid of the I hit on the muslin threes traded those. He, that's all he wanted was a straight up trade for the muslins and these are used but not horrible. They were just a little dirty not horrible so creasing on the toe box perfect <laughs> almost almost perfect and man I'm again 
couldn't be happier to have these in the collection. And again, I, I've worn these a few times as well, not too much, maybe like three since I've had them. I've only had them maybe close to a month, but I mean three, three times out of a month, that, that's still a piece of wearing, I guess. But yes, this is my favorite pair in the collection. And all my shoes will be worn, not crazily like that, but you will see me wearing my shoes. And I'm starting to, because I wear 14s, majority, mainly 14s, don't get too many crease protectors to actually fit my shoes. So I'm starting to not care about creasing as much at all, really. I'm just gonna live life and wear my shoes. I mean, everybody says that anyways, but you know what I mean? I would like to preserve life as much as I can anyways, but it is what it is, man. But again, this is this is the beginning of my collection. Six pairs, yeah, six pairs. Some some real heat, and then some people have passed up on, but they're a part of my story now. And I'm excited that I have them here to tell it. But let me know what you guys think of my collection in, in the comments below. Um, what is? Let me know in the comments what's your favorite pair out of your collection. You know, mine's the Amaja Holmes. What's your favorite pair in your collection? I do want to make this a regular series, maybe every six months or so. I don't know, man. But this will be a regular occurrence. As the more I grow, the more uh, I get better and collect more, the more I want to put that information out there to inspire others. You know what I mean? I'm eventually, I eventually plan to have a full wall of sneakers like all the others, but this is my beginning. We're gonna start building. Uh, additions on the house and I'm gonna have my own sneaker room as well so you know th this is my growth <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry throat's a little <laughs> I lost my voice this weekend during a draft but uh, I, I I'm excited for the, about the future so let me know in the comments below what you think of this collection What's your favorite pair in your collection and if you haven't already please drop a like subscribe to this channel uh, definitely hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think and, and what your favorite pair is. And until next time, man, stay tuned for the next video. But until next time, peace.